Hey there, Alex here from BGS. I'm a revenue optimization expert and I help e-commerce businesses grow and scale through optimizing their website. And in this training, we're going to talk about the best and easiest AOV boosting trick that you can use for your e-commerce store. Okay. Now, what is this trick that I'm talking about? It is your free shipping threshold. It is the amount of dollars that your customers have to spend with you in order to get free shipping. If you can offer it, right? Some businesses, depending on your business model, you might not be able to offer it for like, for example, if you're selling furniture and typically a furniture item is very heavy and the shipping is expensive. So you might not be able to offer it in this instance. That being said, though, I still recommend you figure out a way how to offer it. Uh, and, and the way you would do that is obviously you got to know all of your numbers and you got to calculate and work some of your shipping costs into the price of your products in such a way that you can still be able to offer that free shipping threshold past a certain amount that your customers are spending on your website. But anyway, most e-commerce stores should be able to offer the free shipping threshold. And if you're already offering free shipping for everybody without a threshold, I kind of still recommend you test this because it, it can potentially increase your AOV. Okay. Now the free shipping threshold is nothing new. It's not some crazy science and, and many people are using it currently, but the problem is most people are using that randomly, right? They set up a random dollar amount for free shipping. They spend this amount of money and you get free shipping without any forethought, right? You don't want to do that. Forget about it. You want to use this strategically. Okay. And what is the strategy that I recommend? The key is to set your free shipping threshold to be 15 to 20% higher than your average order value. For example, if your current average order value is $100, you want to set your free shipping threshold to be 150 to 120. That's the best way to have your free shipping threshold help increase your average order value. If it's anything below that, if it's below your average order value, then it's not helping you anything, right? It's pretty much useless. But if it's way above your average order value, then it will not help much either in that case, because it's too far out, out of people's comfort zone uh, in what they're willing to spend, right? So the key 15 to 20% above your average order value, okay? Now, obviously, you want to let your visitors know that you're offering this free shipping threshold on your website. And one of the best ways to do this is communicate this through a simple message on multiple places on your website. Number one is the top bar of your page on your website, right? The top bar. Then you can have it on your, not you can, but you should have it on your product pages as well, where you communicate your shipping and delivery policies. Uh, typically, it should be near the buy section near the price of the product and then on your cart page. And the way you do this is you code it as a dynamic message that changes dynamically based on the dollar value that your customers have in their cart at the moment. And let me show you real quick what I mean by this, okay? Let me share my screen. So if you look at this website, this is the top bar that I'm talking about right here. See where it says free shipping on all US orders of 50 plus? That's what you want to do. You, you can award it in different ways and it can be here at the center of the bar. It doesn't really matter. It all depends on your website design. But if you say anything along the lines of free shipping on all orders over 50 or whatever it is for your store, then you're good to go. Okay. And notice what happens when I go and add a product. Let's go here and let's add this product to the cart, right? And if you notice, I have this message now here at $5 to get free shipping. It changed dynamically, right? So I have 45 already in my card and it says, okay, add five more to get free shipping. And if you notice it changed here as well at the top. So that's what I mean by dynamic message. Okay. And if we go on the car page, this message is also there. So it can be either here or it can be here above the card content at the top. But it's better here near the proceed to checkout button in context of the next step. So it's more visible. But anyway, this is what you want to do. And obviously, once uh, they go past that limit, right? Let's add one more product. Now it's 90 and it says, congratulations, you've earned shipping. You have to 
uh, confirm that, okay, they actually got the free shipping, they're good to go. And obviously you need, this needs to be coded so that if somebody removes the product, it goes back to whatever it was previously, okay? I hope this is making sense for you. So here's what we know so far. The free shipping threshold is the best and easiest way to boost your AOV on your e-commerce store because there's no crazy coding. There's nothing here. There's no trying to figure out complementary products and all that stuff, which works great. Don't get me wrong. However, there's none of that here. It's super simple. You just calculate your free shipping threshold, which should be 15 to 20% above your average current average order value. And you just put it on your website in the top bar and on the cart page and the product page with a simple, it's simple code. Any developer shouldn't take longer than like 15, 20 minutes to fix this. Okay. That's it for this video. It was super short, super simple and to the point. Go ahead and apply this to your store and you will see your average order value grow, okay? If you like this video, stay tuned because there will be a lot more coming where this one came from. And if you like to work with us, just go to workwithbgs.com, fill out a small application and we would love to get on the phone with you and see how we can help you, okay? Again, that's workwithbgs.com. And until next time, have a good one and I'll see you soon. Bye.